Dr. Michael Buedinyamiche, the founder and pastor of Maker's House Chapel, has handed out 20 automobiles to members of his church as a method of eliminating unemployment in Ghana. These automobiles, which will be on work for higher bases, will have a weekly payment schedule that recipients must follow. The car's Toyota Vitz is a five-door hunchback that is noted for its dependability, longevity, and excellent fuel efficiency, as well as excellent engine performance. The 1.5-liter 1Z-FE engine is mated to a 4-speed Super ECT automatic gearbox or a 5-speed manual transmission. Even though the automobiles are supposed to help church members, they all had to go through a vetting procedure to qualify, according to Ken Fiaci, a pastor in the church. The success of this effort will be determined by how dedicated they are. Basically, the system is such that um, he's made available 20 vehicles. Um, you can see that they're in a very good state to have it. Um, most of them are four blocks. If you understand cars, you know that these are very good um, vehicles. Um, uh, it's to help people in the church, um, whether you're a cleaner in the church or you're in the ministerial team or the choir, um, to help them to be able to make a living. A, a lot of people are going through hard times, um, especially post-COVID. I, maybe I shouldn't even say post because COVID is still there and um, taking a toll on us. So the whole idea is to ensure that people in the church also have something to do um, to earn a living. Um, he preached some time ago and he said that the Bible says, I will bless the works of your hands. And so if your hands are there and they are not doing anything, then it means that blessings will be difficult for you to get so that we can move away from that paradigm of people thinking that it is prayer that would make you a blessed person. So that's what motivated him. He's like that. He sits and prays and stays in the spirit and comes up with things that will help people. So this is just, um, maybe I should say a drop in the ocean when it comes to the things he wants to do in terms of job creation. Is this something that's going to continue or this is just the end? Um, knowing him, he never stops at anything. He teaches and tells us that God is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. And so um, he always wants us to know, and I never forget that statement, it's not about how well you start, it's about how well you finish. And so this is not going to be something that is going to be a nine-day wonder because there's a system, there's a structure um, that is creating jobs, not only for the vehicle um, owners, but even for the people in the value chain who are going to be taking care to, of the vehicles to ensure that they're in a good state. The whole plan is that when these people are doing what they're doing with the vehicles to earn an income. There's, it's work and pay. So as they pay, as they pay, that money would also be used to acquire more vehicles for other people who couldn't um, benefit from this first set of vehicles to also benefit. Um, so it's not something that is a nine-day wonder. It's something that is going to continue. Okay. Is there a duration? Maybe he's just going to do this for five years or six years or it's, it's eternity or forever? Um, uh, he, he says that the last word from God is not the last word of God. So we don't know what next God is going to tell him to do. Um, but in relation to these ones, we know that that is the cyclical system that is in place. That um, It's not even starting with just the 20. The people who wrote their names were vetted to ensure that these are people. It's not everybody in the church who, who would want to be a, a good Christian. So th there was a vetting process to choose. Um, and we had more than 20 people, so he's going to acquire some more vehicles for those people. What it means is that the turnover is going to go into, like I've said, the acquisition of some more. So if God tells him to do this um, till his kingdom that he promised comes, that's what it's going to be, unless God says something differently in regards to this type of business. Tell us about the agreement between the church and the drivers. Yeah, that, this is a basic thing. Um, this is a... In, in, in the market, it's usually at times two of the value of the car. I'm sorry, at times two and a half. Some people do even at times three of the value of the car, and they determine what you're going to be paying um, as sales every, every week. But um, for us, we're doing the best on the market. It's almost like at times two, um, and then a very relaxed um, payment um, system for them. Um, we expect that we're giving the cars out um, full, full tank and uh, the insurance is a comprehensive insurance which, which is done and the roadworthy is done and you can see that the number plates indicate that it's just this year that the vehicles were registered. If you saw the Zion Felix story you realize that they were DVs at the time and so the cars are in the best of shapes um, for them to work with to be able to pay 
back. Um, of course, there are people who will definitely be recalcitrant uh, when it comes to doing what is right. Even, the, even Jesus had a Judas. And so um, we have put together a system where you would have to default a certain period of times. Your guarantor will be called in for, for the, the, the challenge to be addressed. It is only when we realize that this person is not committed to the course. Um, commitment to the course for us is knowing that you are driving a vehicle today, but your work that you're doing can help your brother or your sister to also have a vehicle to drive. It is only when we realize that you're not committed to the course. There are people who would want help only for a period. Um, if it gets to such a stage, then the inevitable would have to be done. The vehicle would have to be reclaimed, um, put in the best of shapes for somebody else who is seriously needing it to have use of it. During the vetting, what qualifies one to own one of these cars? Charity begins at home. So for us, we started with people who are members of the church. Um, if you should have a chance to go through the list, you realize that some of them are ministers okay. in the church. Some are choir people in the church. Some are just lay people in the church. Um, that, that is the first thing we looked at. Um, we did not go into checking whether the person is a tithing per, um, member of the church because how can you tithe if you don't have a job to do? Um, so we also had a guarantor system where um, somebody from the church would have to say, of course, this person is a member of the church. If you are in a department, it's even the easier um, option for us to just check that truly you are in that department and committed to church and that's it. You need to have a valid driver's license. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, that, that is also checked. And then um, we had just a short discussion with them, more of an, uh, um, a bringing to speed as to what is expected of you, that you need to do your servicing on time, make sure that if the insurance is expired, you, you make sure that it is done. Um, and then um, your routine sales, you should know that you should be committed to it. Um, then um, periodically, which we have made known to them, um, there are people who are managing these businesses. So they would have to see the vehicles, not hear about the vehicles, see the vehicles and conduct an inspection to be sure that the vehicles are being well taken care of. Um, once that is done and you are doing your sales right, I think God helps you in the next direction. Some beneficiaries who spoke to New TV share their profound gratitude to the head of the church, Dr. Michael Buedinyamiche, and promised to adhere to all rules. Okay. 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 I've been in a member for for the past five years, so to me, me yada da. Me the banana, me me the na me yena sales. To or or can I say like, oh yeah, this initiative, you know, na me say oh any. Say me wa hai di any. I didn't di. Ye chop food di. I say obi insun ni ni ti. And I'm saying me di me mo be join. Say ne be ya be boy. Na boy, o mo so o mo be ba a train. Yeah. Now mode of payment, let's say. Oh, mode of payment in there, yeah. 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 monthly and a yearly and a weekly and a daily how are you going to do it oh it's a weekly basis and, and then as a weekly I end for two and uh, two years nine months so I think that uh, yeah, I can I born a trauma mono you should submit me meeting every week oh. Meet my meeting because I've been in this business for the past one year. So many, many echo. So it's a good thing for to 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 be part of something like this, where in a house a father thinks about his children and come out with this initiative. So it's a very good thing. Yes. Have you been an Uber driver before? This is going to be your first time. For Uber, this is going to be my first time. But I've handle a taxi before actually yes with the mode of payment do you think you can meet it hmm the mode of payment with uh, being a child of god i must have the belief that yes i'll be able to meet it but in reality uh, the, the 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 price is a bit high but then um, once others have been able to 
do it, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll try. And I'll be able to and do it. So yes. I want to, first of all, congratulate him for this initiative. And I'll encourage him to continue. Because it will go a long way to help those of us who come around him. So, so, with the uh, auto mechanic, how would you balance the two? Oh, it's the same. The human no mechanic and a the with the mode of payments now, yes, Oh, so far, the more than dear. And so, when you are doing something, 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 you are doing I don't know. Uh, it has come to help my kind, particularly we, the members, and those of us who are uh, unemployed in this very church. We've been in the ministry, we've prayed, we've done all that we are supposed to do, and we could see that there is a divine thing that was given to pastor, I mean, to help alleviate poverty. You understand? And you know, we've entered into a new year, and life must change. So uh, we know that this is a prayer that, uh, I mean, has been answered through uh, Papa. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, are you employed? Not really. Not at all. No. So how, how, how do you think this is going to benefit you? Yes, it is going to benefit me a lot. Me and uh, my family, we are going to, in fact, uh, rely on this. And we know that this is something that we've been doing. You know, we've been driving for others, we've been driving for our colleagues, that by the end of the day, we get nothing. So if by God's grace today, we happen to own our own car, to which we will not account to anybody, but rather we are also going to master of our own industry, I think it's going to help us a lot. With our family, with our friends, and also in our ministry. You understand? Is something that Papa should continue. Yes, this is something that is very good. It's a good thing that what we are saying is that uh, Dr. Maki Abodi Nyameche should continue to do. And like I was saying, we've advised our colleagues, my colleagues, those who have benefited from this blessing from uh, Dr. Abodi Nyameche, that we should all do our best to make sure that we meet the required, I mean, weekly or monthly uh, payments so that others will also benefit from it. Yeah.